Here we will identify eukaryotic cell structures from an electron micrograph. First off, you can differentiate between the smooth endoplasmic reticulum and the rough endoplasmic reticulum because although both of them are networks of tubules I'm showing you here in orange, the rough endoplasmic reticulum is associated with ribosomes, which I'm highlighting here in red. They're present on the electron micrograph as little black dots. In this image, we can once again identify the region of the rough endoplasmic reticulum by its association with ribosomes. But the larger organelle present here is the mitochondrion. We can see here the lines that we previously represented on our diagram, the internal compartments formed by the inner membrane of the mitochondrion. This next image serves to show us the relative sizes of the nucleus to the mitochondria labelled M and the rough endoplasmic reticulum RER. You can see how much bigger the nucleus is than the latter two. Here to be clear I'm distinguishing between the mitochondria which I'm circling around in orange labelled with an M, the rough endoplasmic reticulum RER also in orange and I'm circling around the nucleus in red. Zooming in it is once again possible to identify the mitochondria by the lines on the inside formed by the inner membrane. Here we are able to identify the Golgi apparatus by its curved shape and by the vesicles I'm circling in blue at the end of the tubules. We can also identify the lysosomes which I'm circling in red and relatively these are a little larger than the Golgi apparatus. This final image serves to show the relative sizes of the organelles within a eukaryotic cell. So you have the large nucleus the Golgi apparatus is harder to see here, but would have that curved structure with the vesicles at the end. The plasma membrane going all the way around the outside and containing the organelles in the cell. The mitochondria, you see the lines formed by the internal membrane on the inside. And the lysosome is a smaller circular structure.